well, got even more just insanity out of the Islamic state of Sweden. That's what I call it, because Sweden uh, truly is looking like an Islamic state. Now, supposedly they're just this godless secular, secular liberal state, which is obviously part of the problem. Secular, secular humanistic liberalism is part of why so many Western European nations are being taken over by the Islamic migration. A bit of a side issue there, but, uh, you know, it's becoming essentially an Islamic state and stuff like this proves that, okay? This is on uh, Infowars. By the way, not saying this is an endorsement of Infowars, just the article itself is what I'm reading. This is, uh, essentially it says, a father of Swedish child Islamic terror victim says her Stockholm grave has been desecrated over 100 times. And who is doing the desecration? Well, it's the Muslims, the Muslim migrants. Because, you know, hey, you kill the infidel jihad, you're essentially pure in Allah's sight. So, you know, you're just killing a bunch of dirty non-Muslims. So even in the grave, they still want to desecrate it because that's just how the Ishmaelite Muslim migrants are going to act. But it says here on the article, the father of Eva Akerlund, the 11 year old Swedish girl killed during an Islamic terror attack in 2017, says her grave in Stockholm has been desecrated over 100 times. Akerlund was dismembered and killed when Islamic migrant terrorist Rachmat Ak Akerlov drove a truck through a shopping through a shopping street on April 7th, 2017, killing five people and seriously injuring 14 others. The culprit, 37 year old Rak Rakmat Al Akilov, however you say the guy's name, was a rejected asylum seeker from Uzbekistan. Since her death, Eva's father, Stefan Akerlund, has vis visited her grave every day at 10 a.m. to say good morning and every evening at 6 p.m. to say good night. And again, this kind of behavior, and yeah, sure, Uzbek, Uz, yeah, Uzbek Muslims are obviously not, you know, uh, Ishmaelite in terms of their origins, but the Muslims are the spiritual descendants of Ishmael. So this kind of behavior from them is to be expected when you consider the fact that the angel of the Lord in Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 says Ishmael will be a wild man. And this is very true of his spiritual descendants, the Muslims, or in this case, the Muslim migrants. But it says here in the article, continuing on, However, after another act of, de act of desecration this week, Ackerlin says his daughter's grave at the Adolf Frederick Cemetery in central Stockholm has been vandalized over 100 times. Quote, You get sad when you come here and see that someone either just vandalized or just stole. He told uh, Nightier, I hope I'm, saying, hope I'm saying that right, 24, knowing that, th that in the latest incident, flowers he left to embark Eva's birthday had, had been overturned, a glass lantern smashed, and other items stolen. Ackerlin has been calling for surveillance cameras to be set up to catch the culprits, but so far has but has so far been ignored. Uh, quote, it doesn't matter if it's only X hours a day that the camera works, it's enough it, it's enough that if there is enough if there are camera surveillance images, I think it helps, he said. Yeah, and he's getting ignored because why? Well, the secular liberals are in cahoots with the Islamic state of Sweden, the forming Islamic state of Sweden. You know? That's the, the truth of the matter. And you know, this is why secular liberalism has been a death sentence for Western Europe. But it says, uh, continuing on, and also Northern Europe, I'll just point that out as well, because Sweden is a Northern European country. But continuing on the article, it says, During such a desecration in 2018, Ackerlund caught the culprit, an illegal immigrant, in the act of desecrating Eva's grave. Quote, I personally caught him in an act of desperation. He was pouring candle wax on Eva's grave. The police re released him after only one hour in custody, said, unquote. Uh, he said, adding, quote, that's why my nightly visits to the graveyard were worth, unquote. Yeah, exactly. You know, you catch him in the act. But of course, the cops are going to release him because, of course, you don't want to be called racist and Islamophobic for arresting this Ishmaelite uh, Muslim migrant desecrating a grave of one of their uh, victims of, of Muslim terrorism. But it says, uh, Stockholm continues to enjoy the benefits of Sweden's open door liberal immigration policy. Uh, you can say that again. Uh, this includes the rash of shootings that officials say have left the capital unrecognizable. Historic churches are being firebombed and regular riots are staged by migrant youths. Yeah, to be expected of Ishmael, his spiritual descendants. Because again, Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12, wild man against every man. And that is true of his uh, the, uh, spiritual children, the Muslims. And these Muslim migrants are just further proving that. So this is the kind of behavior you ought to expect when you import just these hordes of, of Ishmaelite Muslim migrants into your nation, you know, because they're going to follow in the footsteps of their spiritual father, Ishmael, and act like a bunch of wild men, as we're seeing right here, and as we, we just saw in that article. So wanted to point that out. Uh, the Islamic State of Sweden never, never ceases to impress me. 
you know, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.